Yo everyone, what is the story? Welcome to the video. So, I'm just about to go into the gym and I just got some inspiration to film a video on the harsh realities of losing weight. So, these are just basically things that I've like experienced over my many years of training, over my many calorie deficits. And you know, I just think they're things that you really have to accept even before you begin your diet because if you don't go into your calorie deficit or your cut or whatever mentally prepared then there is a bigger chance that the diet won't be successful and that you won't reach your goal. Okay, so let's get this started. So harsh reality number one is all to do with hunger and hunger is something that you know, you have to accept that you're gonna experience every now and again when you're in a calorie deficit. So if you think about it, putting yourself in a calorie deficit, which is what you need to do to lose weight, is kind of like a form of starvation. Like you're consuming less calories than your body needs to maintain its weight. So obviously your body needs time to get used to this and hunger is something that you will experience. Um, and you can obviously do things to like minimize this hunger. So that could be eating a lot of voluminous foods, like a lot of veg, a lot of fruit. It could be employing methods like intermittent fasting. Um, but yeah, as I said, hunger is something that you will experience on a diet. So just kind of accept it and get used to it. Right, so harsh reality number two is all to do with like food choice. And you're gonna have to accept that when you're on a diet, um, you're gonna be consuming like less of the foods that you really, really like. So, you know, when you're not on a diet and when you're like maintaining weight or gaining weight, then there is a lot more room for foods like chocolate and sweets, etc. But when you put yourself in a calorie deficit, and like when you're trying to lose weight, these are the first foods that kind of need to take a bit of a cut. So as a general rule, I don't really recommend that any more than 10 to 15% of your total calories for the day come from foods like chocolate and sweets, etc. So let's just say you're consuming 2000 calories a day to lose weight, then I don't recommend eating more than 200 or 300 calories from foods uh, like chocolate or whatever. And if you don't do this and you kind of fill your day with eating crap, then your diet will eventually fail because first of all, uh, you won't be hitting your micronutrient targets, so you'll begin to kind of feel pretty shit maybe low on energy and second of all this will only increase your hunger further so foods like fruit and veg and like lean meat and stuff are a lot more filling than chocolate and sweets so if you fill your day with chocolate and sweets you're going to be really really hungry and then you're just going to end up eating too much putting yourself out of a calorie deficit into a calorie surplus and before you know it you'll be gaining weight right so harsh reality number three is all to do with your rate of weight loss or your rate of progress so typically when you go on a diet or when you put yourself in a calorie deficit you you will experience like an initial drop in weight and that's like great it's like really rewarding and um, but you have to realize that that's not just fat it's probably a combination of things like water weight and uh, less food in your gut and also fat as well so once this like initial stage passes then the rate at which you lose weight will slow down like that number on the scales won't be dropping as often and you won't be making visible progress on a weekly basis and it's once you like get to this stage that you really have to dig your heels in and trust the process because if you don't you're just gonna be getting like really frustrated and you might just like pack it in and give up even though it's completely normal. So yeah, harsh reality number three is that the rate at which you lose weight will slow down and then it might take you a little bit longer than you initially thought to reach your goal. But like, that's okay, that's completely normal. Um, anyway, moving on to harsh reality number four, let's talk about abs. So a big reason that like a lot of people want to lose weight is because they want to have a really, really toned stomach. But people don't understand, or not a lot of people understand, 
that this takes like a lot of effort so for a male and um, you'll probably have to be around the 10% body fat mark to have like a decent set of abs and for a female it's probably around 15% so if you're starting like a six week or an eight week or even a 10 week diet with a good bit of extra weight on you and you think that you're gonna have you know a really really toned stomach or six pack abs by the end of that six or eight or ten weeks then you know you're probably wrong and you might have to reassess your goals. I mean is basically set like the six pack goal or the really toned stomach goal as more of a long term goal and set yourself shorter term goals along the way because if you don't and if it gets to like the final stages of your diet and you're nowhere near a six pack then you might just get like really disheartened and you might just question the whole thing even if it was a really really successful diet and you just set yourself like an unrealistic target okay so my fifth and final harsh reality is all to do with alcohol so this is something that i've touched on before but if you like go on a mad one every weekend then this is something that you're gonna have to give up if you want to take your weight loss goals seriously so unfortunately alcohol is like really really calorie dense and you know it often comes with like a chipper that night or a dominoes the following evening and it can like easily undo a week of hard work so for example if you put yourself in like a 300 calorie deficit from monday to friday so for people that don't track that's just basically eating a little bit less every day and if you go on a mad one on saturday and follow it up with a chipper or a dominoes then you're definitely taking yourself out of that calorie deficit and putting yourself in a calorie surplus so you're not actually losing weight anymore you're probably gaining weight from that night alone and that's not to say that you can't drink alcohol and lose weight at the same time because you can but you cannot go on a mad one every weekend and lose weight it's just the way it is i'm sorry okay so they are my five harsh realities of losing weight so number one is that you will experience hunger sometimes number two is that you're probably gonna have to consume a lot less chocolate and sweets number three is that your rate of weight loss will slow down number four is that getting abs is hard work and number five is that you're probably gonna have to say goodbye to the mad nights out yeah so as i said like if you come to terms with and accept these harsh realities then weight loss suddenly becomes a lot easier and a lot less of a challenge so i hope you enjoyed the video Video. if you're not like too upset right now if you're not crying your eyes out make sure you give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one.